Hey, blessings everyone and welcome back. I'm here to just quickly share how to create an email newsletter in Revu because my girl has been asking for this video, so I said, why not share? All right, so let's jump into it. Hey everyone, welcome. So I just wanted to walk you through how to make your own Revu account, especially if you have Twitter. Uh, most of you probably have seen this option already, right? Like in your settings or something. I'm asking if you're interested in making one of these accounts, uh, get revu.co. So it is, I, I like it. I think it's just very simple, straightforward. Uh, literally, like you can make an email newsletter um, without having to worry about all the different kind of options and, you know, everything like that. So Revu is a pretty simple account, especially for new beginners who are into email marketing. I would say to check it out. I don't, I'm not sure if you need Twitter to sign up for it um maybe you can sign up for without twitter i'm not sure but just just check out the website and you'll see so anyway so i'm going to walk you through simply just how to create a email newsletter email you know in get review okay so as you can see oh by the way this is my newsletter uh, i sent this uh this is the last newsletter that i sent out i sent out uh, a behind the biz monthly newsletter at the end of every single month just going over you know some branding business mindset stuff from the month that you know captured my eye captured my attention etc and so i just want to share with people uh so this is the actual newsletter that went out the um february 28th so as you can see i just put you know um opportunities stuff like that my monthly favorites things of that nature so you can literally like obviously make whatever kind of emails you want it doesn't have to be that you know thorough or long or whatever you know but anyways okay so this is how you make it so first things first you're going to go to issues so i know you would think like you're going to go to create i don't know why they kind of do it like this but <laughs> when you go to create it actually goes to the last newsletter that you sent out i don't know why but if you want to create a new uh newsletter you go to issues right so as you can see these are all the past issues that i had then you're going to go to add new issue, right? What just happened? Oh, add another one. Yeah, add new issue. Oh, there you go. Yeah, sorry. So you're going to add new issue. And then as you can see, you're going to have a new issue pop up. You can obviously duplicate them, right? So I'm going to go here to edit this one and say this one's just a regular one. Um, and say I just want to share like, you know, niching down tips or something obviously i'll come up with something better but let's just say that so obviously you put the subject line here right you can put an introductory here hey how are you whatever you know and then you go down and then so this is where you can start to add obviously whatever you want so if you need a header you could do a header right if you want text text you know if you have a link you're going to put the link right media you can add an image video you can only add video links right so obviously youtube vimeo, vimeo etc so you can't actually add like you know a video that's on your computer or phone or something like that which i don't know why most of the these kind of platforms or softwares do that it's so strange because go get go daddy is like that too which is kind of annoying like, i don't know why they don't you know because i would rather just not all videos I have are on YouTube or anything like that. So I would rather have a video that's on my computer, on my phone, being able, you know, to upload it. So whatever. But that's what that's the option, you know. And then you can also see, add in a tweet link here. Again, image, you know, drop. At least you can add your own image. That's it. But just videos, you can. So you can obviously drag and drop your own images here. So that's pretty much it. Like, it's literally that simple. And obviously you can, like add whatever you want like you can go back and forth right you can even move things if you want to right so say i don't want this header here i want it here you know say i want the link up here you know whatever so it's very see so easy like you can move it like that it's very easy again you can add things you know you can also add things here so as you can see like i see as you move through here you see that line that just pops up yeah you can also add things like that so there's that again the header do it again you know text the link image video twitter so you can also add it like that or you can go down here and add it like that so see it's very very simple like the options are simple um simple but significant i really like it um but yeah so let me see if there's anything else to show you 
but that's pretty much it that's how you create an email newsletter but say you're ready to go you can obviously preview it first you can preview how it looks online when you share that oh for some reason it's not working <laughs> okay well you can preview the email for sure so you, this is how you know people will get it when they get in their email so you'll be able to see like blah 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 blah, blah you know and then obviously you can send a preview if you want to so say i want to send it to myself just to make sure right you can also do that and then when you're ready you can schedule it all right so i'm obviously not scheduling this one but you know when you're ready you can obviously schedule it. you're going to go to where you're sending this to if you have members um all subscribers you know when would you like to send this issue obviously and then you can obviously share it with your other social media platforms you can upload an image literally you know all that so then you just send now right or schedule now and then that's it literally that's it so i'm gonna go back because i don't want this in my drafts or anything to be honest so well anyway so if you don't want this in your drafts we can just actually go to issues and then see here and then obviously delete right or duplicate oops hold on let me delete that one too all right, and that's it. So that's how you create an email newsletter in Revu. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.